Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'm standing in front of my newly installed Wi-Fi enabled thermostat, which I installed myself right here in this location. But let me tell you how I got to this point. Having never done any kind of uh, type of uh, working with wiring inside a house before, uh, I'm glad I'm not dead and I'm glad this is now working. So first of all, I found out about this particular uh, thermostat uh, from Filtreat, which is a product of 3M, the Wi-Fi touchscreen programmable thermostat with remote access by way of Andrew Spring. So Andrew, thank you uh, for being a part of our greater community and passing along a gadget that I otherwise would never have thought, huh, you know, I'd like to have that in my home. Now I do. Thank you, Andrew. If anybody else has any suggestions uh, on hardware or software services or whatever that might help me live a geekier existence inside of these walls, which I seldom leave, drop me a line. Chris at Perillo.com. That's exactly what Andrew did. So today, and I've, I've got some notes for myself here in case you didn't notice because I've got a lot that I want to make sure I cover. Uh, I have to give thanks to uh, AA Plumbing here in the Seattle area. I've used them before. Uh, what was happening this past week was our uh, toilet started whistling. It was insane. It was driving me nuts. So uh, it turns out uh, the pump needed to be replaced. Not a big deal. I probably could have pulled it off myself. It was probably, as far as toilets are concerned, a, a very simple repair, or certainly as simple as it gets. But not really knowing the source of the problem, I figured it was just easy to pay someone, and it was really, really affordable. One of the reasons why I use AA plumbing. Well, the technician who came out here happened to do work in, the, in a prior life uh, with... Uh, furnaces. And so I said, oh yeah, actually, I, I just got this thermostat, but I really, I was going to, you know, call a professional because I've never done anything like it before. Definitely don't mess around with the furnace and kind of really uh, leery about this screwing around with electricity. So he says, no, no, it's really simple. And uh, we basically looked at uh, this top panel. Uh, and I, if you want to step in a little closer to my girlfriend uh, uh, and say hi. Hi, everyone. See, it's really my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, basically, the wires would have to line up the same way they did in the old thermostat. And the old thermostat that we had in the house sucked. It's so old. I think it was like built in 1963. So uh, it was time that it got replaced. So basically we lined up the wires and he kind of gave me a little guide. He says, here's where you put this, 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 this. I'm like, okay, it's not a big deal. Popped off the old thermostat, painted around it since it was it was once a little larger than the new thermostat in terms of its wall footprint. Not a big deal. Made sure the switches were all fine. The biggest part that I had an issue with, and this is what the technician didn't cover, was a blue wire. Because the blue wire wasn't connected because I didn't need the old thermostat to be powered. Well, since this one's Wi-Fi enabled, and there, by the way, the batteries are down there, uh, not for the Wi-Fi, but specifically when uh, you want to make sure your program uh, it stays up. And I found out uh, they, they make industrial strength AA batteries. So cool. I, I, when I popped open the old thermostat, I'm like, whoa, these are awesome. So I may look into getting some industrial strength AA batteries. So, or AA batteries, whatever. So uh, anyway, uh, it, he didn't cover the blue wire. And so I was like, okay, great. Now I'm really stuck. I didn't want to have to call him back because uh, he was out here and he did that on, on you know, his, his own time. He, he helped me out and I was very grateful for that. So I got onto Twitter and I said, okay, I, too, too bad no one knows anything that, that I need to have fixed here. And at T6, that's T-E-E-S-I-X on Twitter, responded. He says, hey, I'm HVAC certified. What's the problem? And basically in a tweet, I said, well, I got everything ready except for this blue wire. I need to connect it to the C terminal or gate or whatever they would call it here in the circuitry. And he says, okay, that's really simple. You, you know, it, it, this is what you need to do. I'm like, okay, fine. So we go back and forth. You can actually follow the conversation on Twitter uh, if you wanted to. And I said, well, actually, there's a white wire currently in the C terminal. He says, not a big deal. Uh, that was probably, he said, do you have air conditioning? Yes. Oh, well, that's the air conditioner. I'm like, okay, cool. And so I basically just inserted the blue wire in there. Uh, that's where the blue wire is connected there. And uh, it works. This is a fully functional thermostat connected to a furnace with air conditioner, and it looks wonderful. It's touchscreen. The nice thing is, is that it's internet, internet enabled. The, essentially, the module, if you want to slip around to the side here, there's a module that you slide in there, and it gives you the, uh, the ability to access it by way of its own access point, and you connect it by way, you, you, get in, you log in by way of like a 192.168.0 or .10.1. Uh, and then you connect to it and say, yeah, connect to my Wi-Fi or my, my regular network. And yes, it uses WPA2 encryption. Very grateful for that because the worst thing I could have seen is, no, it's only using WEP? Uh, no, it doesn't. It, it, it will use, well, at least as strong as I've been able to throw out. It works just fine on my wireless network. Um, the uh, Again, I got to make sure I... Uh, 
uh, refer to my notes list because I also wanted to mention that uh, they have their manuals and, and instructions on YouTube. I'm like, how cool is that? I'm like, okay, that's that's nice. That's how I figured out a little bit more what I needed to learn about the blue wire that needed to connect to the C. Uh, I needed to take a circuitry class, apparently. Um, so right when I connected it, it uh, got online, it connected my local access point, and said, hey, I'm updating the firmware. My thermostat updated its own firmware. That was just genius. I don't think I have any other house component that's ever updated its own firmware before. Well, maybe a TV, but yeah, it's still, this is a part of the house and you don't think of it like a smart device, but now this is a smart device. Uh, and then of course the last portion that I have here uh, written down that I want to make sure I covered is their, uh, the way that you would control it. Uh, you can either control it by way of touch screen, and by the way, it set the time automatically and you can touch up, down, up, down. Uh, you can set the time temporarily. You can see if you've got the link to the, uh, uh, the access point. But uh, you can control it by way of either a Windows utility, by way of the web, or a nice little iPhone app. So here we have uh, the iPhone app, and from here we can turn everything on, off, set the temperature, set the schedules. Pretty easy to control. It's ugly. Oh, it's, uh, it's free, this, this app. Free. This was about a hundred bucks. Didn't cost me anything, parts and labor. Uh, well, look, I'm sorry. Hundred bucks parts, no labor, other than the time that I spent uh, figuring all this stuff out. Uh, the UI, a little clunky on, on this side as well as the web side. Uh, but you know, for a free application, I can't complain too loudly, and it's pretty simple to control here as well. Uh, so I, I can easily say, okay, 73 degrees, nice and cool, because it's hitting summer. This is pretty cool. So I have to thank again, uh, Andrew and T6 and uh, the folks from AA Plumbing here in the Seattle area, which I've used them several times for plumbing incidents here in the house. I'm not really ready to get my hands dirty in that way. I'll leave the job to them. So I have to thank everybody involved for getting me to this point of installing my own thermostat. Ah! Okay, this is a big deal for me, okay? You may have done it a million times before. This is a huge deal. First the thermostat, next, I don't know. Uh, uh, an outlet of some kind, maybe? Maybe. Just gotta remember to turn the, you know, the breaker so that, you know, electricity isn't flowing through here and into my body. That would be bad. And I did that. Everything's working just fine. Again, my email address, chris at perlo.com. I am looking to geekify my home. And yes, I just think I turned a phrase. Geekify my home. Geek out my home? That sounds good. At Chris Perlo on Twitter, sometimes I throw questions out there, sometimes I answer questions, sometimes people answer my questions. Hey, it's what it's all about. I also have LockerGnome.net uh, for questions and answers of every, anything related to technology or beyond. Uh, also have, let's see here, LockerGnome.com, Chris.Perlo.com, Facebook.com slash Chris Perlo, EmpireAvenue.com slash Perlo, my favorite artist, uh, Justin Hillgrove, Imsen Monsters. You see, I'm sorry, I've got a few original watercolors behind me. Bragging again. Hey, it's my home. I can do with it whatever I want to do with it. If I want to lick the walls. Oh, yeah, yeah.